What's up, everybody? ROM review. Woo! We haven't had one in a while, and I'm so excited to do this ROM review. This is Moki 4.4.2. As you guys can see, it's for the SPHD 710. That is the Epic 4G Touch on um, Sprint, the Galaxy S2 on Virgin Mobile and Boost Mobile, and this is my titanium version of the Galaxy S2. So, anyways, um, so let's go back to the home screen, and there we go. There's my home screen. I use the Google Launcher because the stock launcher that comes with this ROM does not have access to that. So, we have basically as many screens as you want. And um, for those of you, let me delete this because I was like, yeah. So anyways, um, first things first, how to apply widgets, very simple. Menu button, right down there it says widgets. There you go, long list of widgets. And we're going to go ahead and add back that widget that I just deleted. So let's do Twitter. Uh, and you just pretty much can put it on any page you want. Or you can start a new page simply by doing that. Same thing with apps as well. Choose an app and you can start a new page. So that's how you add widgets to a page and add a new page to the launcher. Um, there is your app drawer. Very simplified now. Um, basic KitKat. Um, so there you go. Uh, of course, if you're asking where the widgets are, I just showed them to you. But yes, app drawer. Pretty awesome, pretty neat, pretty cleaned up, basic. Uh, what this ROM does come with, it does come with the browser, calculator, camera, downloads, DSP manager, email. Uh, what else does it come with? It comes with the uh, iFly Tech input, lock screen, phone, of course. Duh. And uh, news and weather, people. Uh, Moki Notes, which is right there. Skip that on accident. And uh, Play Store. And that's pretty much it. Oh, well, the torch and the settings and stuff, yeah. For anyone, just pretty much goes, well, what about the settings? Yeah, I forgot it. There it is, settings. All right. Um, so, while you're using the Google Launcher, of course, if you're not familiar with Google Launcher, it's the launcher that was uh, first introduced on the Nexus 5, and it was stripped out of the Nexus 5 and brought to us by the best and awesome developers out there who just love bringing us some real cool stuff, and now that I'm using a CM11-based ROM that does not come with the Google Now feature right here, or just, just they have the, the setting to turn it on in like not-so-plain sight for layman's people to find... I had to use the Google Launcher, and the Google Launcher is really awesome, but it gets confusing because if you press menu, it says right there, settings, click the settings button, and it does not bring you to your settings page. It brings you to the Google Now settings, where you can pretty much uh, just set up, um, you know, Google Down, even turn it on or off from right there. Uh, right there is wallpapers. Click that, and you can start adding wallpapers and setting it up. Of course, I'm just, right now, I'm using the Moki Winker right there. Because he just looks so mad. It's just like... Grr! So anyways... Um, of course, this is your notification drop-down. Let me clear that out the way. Uh, notification drop-down. And um, there's your quick settings toggles. Pretty much easily set that up in settings. If you want to get settings, place an app on your, on your home launcher screen. Or just, you know, use uh, quick settings to get settings. Either way, to make adjustments, you have interface. Interface, basically, status bar. You can pretty much uh, edit the things on the status bar. Uh, quick setting panels, duh. Pretty much mess with the quick uh, quick settings. Notification drawer. Expanded desktop, which basically removes this up here. Um, you have to flick it down just to get your status bar, and then flick it down one more time to get the whole notification dock down. Uh, it's got the Halo feature. For those who like the Halo feature, uh, I really don't really care to use it, but it's there. And um, yeah, there you go, list view animation. So to get that, that uh, you know, you see the animation right there where it just kind of like, you know, zooms in. That would be the uh, list view animation and it's wave and it's from the left. It's got different ones. It's got wave from the left, wave from the right, scale, alpha, stack, uh, top, stack, bottom, unfold, fold, uh, translate left, translate right, and rotate. I'm going to put on rotate just to see what, what that, oh, wow. Da, 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 da. That's pretty cool. Let me back it away. Okay, there you go. Bam. Bam. Wow, I'm going to leave that there for now. Uh, <laughs> wow, it's pretty cool. This is kind of weird. Oh, my God, it's like a roller coaster. Okay. 
Um, yeah, so Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, data usage, and all that good stuff. Home, and there we go, battery. This is your basic stuff right there. Of course, if you want to get developer options, go into About Phone. So you guys can see SPHD 710, 4.4.2. Uh, you do have to use the ICS modem again, so there you go. And um, to get developer options, just basically tap on that. And it says, no need, you have already enabled development settings. Because I already did that. Uh, let's see. Um, some people like this, so we'll just do that for the fun of it. Oh, look, it's the spinning K. And boom! Yeah! Android 4.4.2, it's awesomeness. Uh, Moki 4.4.2, what can I say about it? Um, a few things. First off, battery life, not the greatest, of course. And the reason why it's not the greatest, it's not because that, you know, that the ROM is just a juice hogger or anything like that. The battery life is not good because it's 1800 milliamps. When you guys are talking about battery life compared to the Galaxy S3s and the S4s, the Note 2s, the Note 3s, and just... Oh, for sakes out there, every device that's running anywhere between a 2150 milliamp hour battery all the way up to a 3500 milliamp hour battery. Like, how could you even compete with an 1800 milliamp? I mean, this was back in the day. This is a this is a two-year-old flagship device. So the battery's not going to be, like, terrifically great. But for those who have this phone, you're not going to be outdated because there's a working 4.4.2. That's awesome. So it's, you know, it's there for you. But I got about nine hours of above moderate use. That's YouTubing, Google+, Twitter, Facebook, Foursquare, Tumblr, Tout. That's all that stuff. Music and everything since I've been jogging and running a lot lately. Music and media. And I've gotten about, about close to nine hours with it. But of course, I carry extra batteries. Um, so for those people out there who pretty much complain about it, well, it's like, oh, the battery dies so fast. So it's like, yeah, you know, it is a two-year-old uh, flagship device, so it's not going to have the greatest specs as what we have now with our top-tier smartphones. So um, if you want this sucker to last a good, good amount of time, you need to do two things. If you drive a car, there's that nifty little cigarette lighter. If you don't smoke, you don't use it, so put it to use. Buy a car charger. Or you could do what I do. Because I don't really have time to really sit there and plug it in and just let it charge while going places. I like to be juiced up all the time. That I have three extra batteries and a external charger. I have three external chargers um, because I actually have six, like six, six or seven batteries total. But three of them are mine. The other three belong to uh, my girlfriend, my fiance, and um, we have three external chargers. So we have. You know, a battery charging upstairs in the bedroom, a bedroom, uh, battery downstairs charging, you know, in the living room, one by the kitchen area. There's always a battery charging, so there's always a fresh battery to use, so I always stay juiced up. Unless we go, like, on a long, 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 you know, joyride somewhere, uh, vacation-wise or whatever, and then I'll burn out all the batteries. So, um... My thoughts about the ROM itself, it's it's pretty awesome. I do like the way how it's functional. Um, just a little bit of tweaking done. Not too much, not too heavy tweaking. I don't like it when people try to like fully tweak the ROM where it just seems like it's no longer a smooth-looking ROM. Like it's like a Franken-Monster ROM, you know? Just bits and pieces of, of Alfred and Jorge and Romero and Todd. <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah, so it's well put together. I do like it. Um... I think Moki is actually uh, one of one of the uh, pretty awesome. Um, um, yeah, just pretty awesome how 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 it functions and everything. So, um, real quick before I end this video to address the rumors, uh, yes, it is true for some of the people out there who've brought it to my attention that Sprint intends to merge Virgin and Boost Mobile into a company called Sprint Freedom. That is true, but there's no leaked sources of what kind of plans they're going to be and what they're going to do with Virgin Mobile and Boost Mobile customers and how they're going to make this all fit. But they are going to merge it um, because they are bringing back the Nextel brand. So Nextel brand is coming back for businesses. Sprint will remain uh, con for consumers, uh, non-business related, and Sprint Freedom will now become the prepaid uh, no-contract provider and what are they going to do with Boost and Virgin? I mean, are they going to take away everybody who's earned the shrinkage? Uh, and what I mean by shrinkage is, you know, the, re the reduction of $5 every six months of perfect uh, on-time bill payments. 
And what about those of us who have the choice of going from 35 to 45 to 55 on Virgin Mobile? I mean, how would they do this? Uh, I'm curious to see. But if you guys like this ROM, I'll have the link in the description. Go ahead and check it out. Download, use G apps. Make sure you flash the, the uh, ROM. Use an ICS modem. If you're already on a, on a ROM that requires an ICS modem, don't worry about it. Just flash the ROM in G apps. If you're on a TouchWiz based, to get to this ROM, easiest way I can think of, flash um, the ICS modem, flash Cyanogen Mod 10.1, and the G apps for that, and then flash KitKat. Don't try to do it from Agate's Recovery because you will not get there. You will catch a buttload of Status 7s. So, um, yes, you can only flash CDs from uh, AOSP ROM. Um, so that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching my ROM review. If you guys like this video and my sarcastic monologuing right now, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. It helps me out, guys. I love um, having new subscribers and making new friends on Google+. Plus. So you guys can always follow me on Google+, Plus, either on my YouTube Google+, Plus page, or you can follow me on my personal um, I will put the links in the description for that one. Thanks for watching. You guys have a blessed week. Much aloha to you guys. Have a great day. Just a quick sample video to show you guys how well the camera works. I think it's one of those air can duster things to dust the keyboard. And you guys get audio from Mario Galaxy in the background.